Hey boys and girls, I am so excited to see you today. We are gonna continue this theme of temptation, but before we do, we are gonna play a quick game of tug of war, which is gonna help us a little bit later. So I've got some helpers with me today, Mr. Michael and Gracie and Bree, and I actually have some other helpers we're gonna jump in in a minute. Uh, but first, let's go ahead and go. Let's say three, two, one, go. <laughs> All right, I don't know about this. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think I think we need some reinforcements. What do you think? All right, Miss Sabrina, you are going to join with the girls. Okay. Yeah. And I'm going to join with the girls too. No one's ever going to do that. Three, two, one, go. So in today's story, we heard about Jesus being tempted. What is temptation? We feel tempted when we really, really want something that we know is wrong or against what God says he wants for us. Jesus was tempted, but didn't sin. We also face temptation, and it can be really hard not to give in, even just sometimes. Temptation can feel kind of like a tug of war going on inside your mind and inside your heart. You can really, really want something, but you also really, really know you shouldn't have it or you shouldn't do it. We know from the Bible that anyone who believes in Jesus as our Savior has the Spirit of God living in us, changing us little by little by little to act and think more like Jesus. Temptation feels like a tug of war because it's our old nature, our old ways, tugging against the new self that God is giving and building in us. So is there a way to make sure that one side is more likely to win? Well, sure. Just like our tug of war game, when I reinforced or gave extra strength to one side, they won easily. Did you notice how Jesus overcame his temptation? He used scripture or Bible verses. When we think about God's ways and when we read the Bible, it reinforces, it gives strength to that side that wants to honor God and wants to resist temptation. Can you think of any other ways to reinforce that side? Yeah, maybe prayer or paying attention to what kind of music you listen to. If you listen to music that reminds you of things that are true about God, or maybe you have some other great ideas. But what happens when we think about how much we really want something whenever we're being tempted. Or if we spend time thinking about how we can maybe get what we want without anybody knowing or without getting in trouble or hurting anyone. Which side of our internal tug of war does that reinforce or strengthen? 1 Corinthians 10.13 says that no temptation has overtaken you except that what is common to man. He also promises that he will always provide a way out for us, that he'll provide a way to endure or escape that temptation without letting temptation win. And that's exactly what he does when we feel that tug of war start. And he brings to mind scripture or reminds you of what's true and what's really most important. But sometimes, if we've been reinforcing the wrong side, we might choose not to take that way out. This is why 
we are so grateful for Jesus and for his sacrifice. Hebrews 4, 14 through 16 tells us that Jesus is a great high priest because he was tested in every way, that he succeeded where we fail. We need Jesus because Jesus died on the cross to pay the penalty for our sins so that when we're feeling tempted and we choose not to take that way out that God is giving us, when we choose not to continue to honor and please God, when we choose our way instead, that's sin. But Jesus has already paid the price for that sin. He loves you so much. He didn't want anything to separate us from him. We want to love and honor God, but we don't want to love and honor God because we have to. Otherwise, we're never going to get to be with him again or because that's how we earn a good status or standing with God. No, we can't do anything that would make God love us anymore. And we can't do anything that will make God love us any less. When we choose to honor and respect God and to listen and follow his ways, we do so because we love God. And we love God because he first loved us. Isn't it amazing that even when we choose our own way instead of God's way. He still loves us. He still wants us to be with him. He still made a way for us to get to be in his presence and live with him forever. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for Jesus. Thank you for sending him to pay the cost for our sin. Thank you for sending your Holy Spirit so that when we feel that tug of war happening inside our minds, when we really, really want something that we know is maybe not your best for us, that you have given us a way to continue to choose good things, things that honor and respect you, and things that we know are for, that you have designated for our good and for your glory. Lord, help us this week as we feel tempted to reinforce and listen to you, to find that way out and to trust you. And Lord, if we decide to choose our own way instead, Lord, would you just remind us of the truth that you love us and that you want us to come back to you because you want to have a relationship with us. In your name we pray. Amen. Boys and girls, that's all for this week. We'll see you next time.